What's up, comic fam? Comic fans, it's time for that new comic book day haul. Plus, review. Plus, we got some 50 centers. And we got something better right after this. Spartans! What is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. All right, if you like comics, you're in the place to be. Let's get into this week's haul and review. New comic book day haul and review with some, uh, some cool 50 cents. So this is Wildstorm Rising. This is a 50, set, 50 center. This is a uh, chapter 10, Wildstorm Rising, but this is also issue two. So it kind of crossed over a few things. But what's cool about this is it is one of those full kind of spread layouts, back and front cover. But also, attached to the inside is this Wildstorm Gallery card pack. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I picked that up, 50 cents, boom. Uh, we also got Secret Avengers number one, Save the Empire, just a cool cover. Nothing, I don't think there's anything to spec crazy on that one. If I am wrong, let me know. All right, also we have another cool cover. We have X-23, right? Boom. This series was by Mariko Tamaki. I really enjoy her writing. She's, she's done some pretty cool things. A little underrated if you ask me, but she uh, currently did a run on Batman Detective. All right, next up we got the free comic book day, Ultimate X-Men, but this was the first appearance of the Ultimate X-Men, all right, from the Ultimate Universe. So this was the free comic book day. It says not for resale right there. And of course on top it says free comic book day. Not for resale. I spent 50 cents on that. <laughs> Next up, we got West Coast Avengers number two. We got Tigra there. This is also nothing really spec crazy about this. Just a cool cover. 50 cents, why not? All right, next up, we got Avengers versus X-Men or AVX number five. This is the first appearance of the Phoenix Force in that book. See the Phoenix burning up uh, Cap right there on the cover. And then we got AVX 7, all right, and this is where Namor floods Wakanda. So, you know, this had a little bit of uh, a spike when it was announced that uh, Namor would be in the um, Black Panther movie, the second Black Panther movie. All right, now what's better than 50 cent books? 25 cent books, and these are in bags and boards. I gotta get those guys in bags and boards. But this is uh, Starman Zero, and this is from 1994 and what you have here is you have this death of the original star man david knight and then you have um jack knight become star man there's also the mist uh her son and daughter make their first appearances in this book so cool cool and then i found this in the quarter bin thor number six and i'm not sure how much this book's going for it's probably at least a ten dollar book um Needs a little press. I actually, a little kid got to it and put a little non color breaking bend in the corner here. So, with the press, it'll come out. Damn kids. <laughs> but I found it in 25 cent bin, so whatever. Um, but yeah, you got Thanos holding the Infinity Gauntlet or the Black Gauntlet with the Black Infinity Stone. So, that's uh, pretty cool. This is second print, by the way. Second print book. And that's artwork taken from the interior. All right, let's get into this week's new comics. First off, we got Star Wars High Republic. Boom, I have not read, I have to catch up. Um, I really enjoyed the first arc, or the first series actually, volume if you will. And this is the second volume. Um, but there's some first appearances in here. So yeah, until I read it, I won't be able to tell you. Who really is in there, but that's Star Wars High Republic. Next up, we got Dr. Afro number 27. Uh, this is pretty good. She's dealing with the Spark Eternal, if you've been reading it. If not, it's this ascendant technology that kind of mimics Sith powers, but more than that, the ascendants were um, creating it to defeat the Sith, right? They wanted to use the power of the Sith to kind of defeat the Sith. And so, 
this technology, if you look at Dr. Aphra's eyes, kind of uh, infects her, if you will, or gets inside of her and uses her body as a host and with the mission to kind of, you know, fight the Sith. Uh, Dr. Aphra kind of tricks the body or has her own viruses built into her body. She has some cybernetics and some, you know, tattoos and stuff that are robotic. And so basically tells the, uh, the stone, um, if you want to continue to use my body or you want to live with me as the host, you'll give me back control of, of my body. Um, so it's, it, you see right here, control issues. So it's been a really good series. Um, yeah, if you like Dr. Afra, if you like Star Wars, I'd jump on that. Um, yeah, it kind of ends with them agreeing to work together and work towards fighting the Sith. All right, next up, kind of a two books that kind of go together but don't really like they look like they'd be um, like attaching cups, but they aren't. And if you weren't careful, you might have grabbed the wrong one if you're not collecting both of these, if you're not reading both of them. But these are both part of the Dark Web series. Here you have uh, Dark Web Venom number 14. All right. And uh, what's what works uh, this book into the Dark Web series, if you've been reading it, is we have a return of like the younger Venom, the one that wants brains and just wants to kill Spider-Man, right? And this book kind of covers how they turned, uh, you know, Eddie Brock and Venom back into that, that, you know, six foot long tongue slobbering Venom symbiote beast. And then also, this also covers how Venom becomes um, Venom, that big red Venom. So yeah, overall, it's it's a good issue. It's, it's worth checking out, especially if you're reading Dark Web. If you're not reading Dark Web, but you still want to know the origins of Venom, also a good book, a book to read. All right, and we have Amazing Spider-Man number 16, which really is like the main title with dark web and in this one you got chasm and you got um peter or spider-man fighting each other right and chasm chasm just kind of tricks peter into uh yeah going into limbo but not on it's tricks him but it's on peter's own terms because Peter's friends are in limbo. So Peter wants to go to limbo to save his friends and Chasm or Ben Riley also wants Peter to go to limbo just to kind of get him out of the way to continue on with his evil plots, his evil plans. Uh, good read. I mean, Dark Web's been fun. It's been a fun series. I've enjoyed it. I wouldn't say it's uh, the best series I've ever read, but it's a good, fun ride, all right? And Zeb Wells is doing an excellent job with that book. And uh, yeah, give it a try. If you were turned off by previous Spider-Man volumes, this might be worth reading just to jump back on. All right, next up we got Murder World Spider-Man, number one. And this is uh, Arcade doing his his worst or his or his best, I guess. Uh, what you have here though is the B cover with the MMA fighter Eden. I read on a couple of sites that this was a possible first appearance, but I'm pretty sure Eden appeared in the first Murder World uh, book, which was also number one. Each one is kind of going to focus on different characters. So the next one is like Murder World Wolverine, number one. This one was Murder World Spider-Man, number one, and had a whole bunch of different Spider-Men uh, in, in Murder World, just murdering people, <laughs> right? But I do believe this is the first cover appearance of Eden. And the last book, maybe you can consider it a cameo and is the first full. Is it a big deal? I don't know. We have to see what happens with the character, but I will tell you that Eden in this book does tell the story, all right? They are the narrator of this book. And you know, it's Murder World. So you've got Arcade, you know, <laughs> both uh, pandering to his audience and, you know, telling these guys, hey, you know, go here, do this, do that, and then, conducting how about he kills all these people and basically I think it's 200 contestants and they're fighting for a hundred million dollars 
and I think we are down to like 67 or something like that. <laughs> and towards the end of this book, you find out there's actually, uh, I think it was 66, but there's actually 69 guys around or something like, some, some number like that, but it's because three people among the remaining 60 whatever are assassins, right? So there's like, let's say 67 live active participants or 66 live active participants and 69 actual people there. So yeah, it was good. It's a good read. Um, it's very, it's not very gruesome. It's a little gruesome for a Marvel book, you know, run by Disney. It's a little gruesome. But if, you know, if you're into that stuff, gore and stuff, check it out. All right, uh, what do we have next? We have Moon Knight, number 18. I love this book. I was not a huge Moon Knight fan. Like there was some good Moon Knight I read, but not all of it was great. But this book, by Jed McKay has, has been keeping me really, um, just really intrigued, really good. You have Moon Knight fighting vampires in this, all right? He's going after the tutor who's um, in charge of this vampire organization called The Structure, kind of a Ponzi scheme, <laughs> you know? He's at the top and then he's got every, all these other guys creating other vampires, which he can just use, you know, at his own will, just sparingly to, to kill them. But Moon Knight figures out that at the top of the Ponzi scheme, you cut off the head, it's all dead. And that's where he goes for. He goes for Tudor. He goes in there. By the way, guys, in the Marvel Universe, silver and holy water still work against vampires. All right. <laughs> all right. Switching gears. We're going to DC. And I'm going to tell you that I'm not all caught up on Batman Beyond the White Knight. But what you have here is you have Derek Powers becoming Blight. So I think this is the first full appearance of Blight. Uh, issue six this is seven so so issue six would have been uh, the first cameo of like if I'm not mistaken if I'm wrong let me know down in the comments all right this is detective comics 1067 by Ron V we've all been waiting for a little action in this book a lot of storytelling a lot of cool I guess mythical things and creatures and stuff that like that and then we finally get some action yes all right and you see mr freeze on top you see batman in there and mr freeze actually helps out the batman in this so if you've been looking for a batman mr freeze team up this is still not that book but you do have mr freeze helping the batman all right and kind of setting the tone for their relationship in the future and then you have uh two-face coming to the aid of um name escapes me now but the DA Harvey Dent boom got it <laughs> so coming to the aid of Harvey Dent in his time of need all right switching gears again we're going indie and I can tell you right now this is going to be the quickest part of the video because we have Philadelphia number 26 I'm still catching up on Philadelphia but nothing but great reviews for this Rodney Barnes crushing Philadelphia and a pretty dope cover so put that there and then next up is um House of Slaughter, right? Book of Slaughter. Book of Slaughter. Book of Slaughter number one. This is the one in ten. It's basically like the A cover, just it's a virgin, no trade dress. Dan Mora did the cover. Love Dan Mora. Awesome artist. What you have in here is you have a uh, solo story, pretty short solo story. Actually a pretty thick book. So maybe it's not that short, but it's not the entirety of the book. It's maybe a third of the book with Maxine Slaughter. And then it's a guidebook. You'll have maps and it, it just tells you about each bandana, each color of the House of St. George and what they mean and what they do and etc. It's really just a guidebook to help you if you're new to the, the slaughter verse or if you know you just wanna make sure you know all the ins and outs of the slaughter verse. That's what this book is. All right, comic fam, comic fans. That was my new comic day haul plus review. We had some 50 centers and we had some 25 centers. And we had some cool 25 centers. <sighs> anyway, thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Do what you do. I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to get ready for next week's books. Happy New Year.